All right. So now we're on to page 6-3 of our RV-10 build. And we're specifically working on taking what we had built on the previous page and adding the support bits that will create the rest of the skeleton assembly. Um, now, I don't know how much work I'm going to get done out here. I don't know if you can tell by my breath, but it's about 10 degrees outside. It's only getting colder. Uh, I've got my heater running, but I'm a little chilled. Uh, we'll see. So, at this point, the next thing that we have to do is we have to go through and deburr the edges of all the remaining parts to prevent scratching during fitting. And I saw on a couple of the different forums that the end of these uh, spars, these, this, this is the top rib spar, the skin goes around it like this, and if you don't give it a little bit of rounding on the edges here, you end up with creases. So that's something that I'm going to get to. I will eventually do that, and I'll, I'll show that I've done that and give you a little bit of footage on that. But in the meantime, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off all the blue and um, just get everything clicoed together so that we have what the part will ultimately look like. Uh, it's going to be big. You know, this stuff, you don't really realize how big this stuff actually is until you start putting it together. This is, this is going to be a large piece. So, um, kind of excited, looking forward to it, and uh, here we go. One thing I'd like to point out is I don't actually know if I should be removing all of this blue protective coating from the aluminum. They don't really talk to it. Um, it's obviously here to protect the aluminum from being scratched uh, and or mangled, uh, I assume mostly during shipping and, and during forming. I think at this point I'm perfectly safe to just remove all of it. Now, I've seen on, on the forums where other, <clears throat> other builders have uh, only removed the you know, areas where they're working on it, and they save removing the rest of it uh, to just before paint, I guess. But in this case, it's like internal to uh, the parts that are going to be painted, so I'm assuming removing it now is okay. Your mileage may vary. So this is actually part of the deburring process right here, which I had spoke to earlier. And right here I've realized I have the top rib installed upside down, so I took it off, removed the bluing, and put it back on. Correct way up. And more deburring. Gonna get very familiar with that uh, scotch Bright wheel, I have a feeling. Thankfully I have like five or six of them of various sizes. And it's a little chilly, so every once in a while you see me go over and hug the heater. Here I'm going through the process of match drilling all of the little uh, number 30 holes to make sure that uh, they're correctly sized. This takes forever. Pay special attention to the beer glass because I didn't. Say lovey. So now it's just a matter of clecoing the skin onto the skeleton framework. Um, there's a lot of holes and they don't quite line up at first, but I found as I slowly added clecos, uh, the next couple of holes lined up and I went down and clecoed those and the next couple of holes lined up, etc. So eventually it all lines up nicely and easily. There were a couple times where I kind of had to stick my head around and, and get the middle started, but once I got it started, it, it was easy and it just kind of worked. 
The other side wasn't exactly as easy. Uh, that skin is extremely tight. And at first I tried to kind of use the Clico at the top to pull the uh, skin down. I found that was the wrong way to go. I, I sat there looking at it for a while and eventually I started over on the right and, and Clicoed along the bottom and that had the same effect as I talked about before. It caused them to, you know, slowly come into line and then it was just a matter of falling dominoes. Real easy. I have to say that the matched drilling uh, system that Vans has come up with is absolutely epic and I couldn't even imagine trying to do this uh, without that sort of thing. So thank you very much, Vans, for that. Uh, but there you go. Easy peasy. And uh, now I have a, a part that actually looks like it's part of an airplane. Kind of cool. <laughs>